Bank of New York, 1027 WNEW, two for Tuesday with you two, even better than the real thing, and with or without you. It's Opie and Anthony, and no, we did not get fired. No, we're back. We're back. We're back. I'm reading these emails, some people concerned, Opie, that uh, for our hijinks on Friday, mm -hmm. that we uh, may have... Um, been terminated here at the NEW, but no, no, we are indeed here. We uh, <laughs> just took the uh, took the day yesterday. Yeah, that's what we're telling people. <laughs> <laughs> thanks uh, for Tony Pig for sitting in uh, on our show on Monday, and thanks for management understanding our concerns. Okay, well, at least. Uh, if you missed Friday's show, you could pop up the pictures on the website and, uh, oh, that's right, they're not there anymore. <laughs> hmm, that's interesting. I wonder if the two events are related. <laughs> hmm, let's see. People are making, uh, they're starting their own conspiracy theories. The website was gone and we were gone from the radio yesterday. Hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's pop up, uh, because a little, a little page comes up when you, uh, you go to our website mm -hmm. to see the pictures of maybe a black girl being uh, whipped by the dominatrix. Right. Or um, you want to see the Mentos video, which was just so popular, people love that. Mm -hmm. Or the pictures of uh, Tara, again, if you would miss them. Yeah. Um, the blonde chick. I, well, let's, let's look. Hmm. Oh, the website you're seeking cannot be found. <laughs> Possible reasons. Well, let's run through these and see maybe one fits. Okay. Uh, you may have mistyped the URL. They are complicated. Sometimes uh, you can mistype them, but I was using uh, a favorite link, mm -hmm. so it wasn't that I typed the name in. And you just click on the icon, so I don't think people... Uh... Yeah, yeah. Uh, the site could be under construction. Please try back later. No. No, I don't no. think that fits. Considering if you saw the website before we got kicked off, there was not much construction ever going on. Right. There. See, the account may have been uh, moved or no longer exists. No, it's it's still there. Trust me. Mm -hmm. I know. Uh, I, I know where I put the stuff. Hmm. The site may have been removed due to violating our accepted uses and policy standards. <laughs> well, well, now that might be it. Let's let's click on that link and see what their uh, policy is. Okay. All right. Unlawful activities such as unauthorized distribution or copying of copyrighted photos. No. No. We took those. Um, copyrighted software? No. no. Export restrictions? No. Fraud? No. Solic solicitation of gambling or prostitution? Mm, not really. Not that I know of. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, practices which may be considered obscene and or illegal material. <laughs> Whoops. Hey! hey, hey, hey. <laughs> there it is. Winner! Winner! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was in there. Well, Web Jump. The, the people at Web Jump have deemed our material obscene, Opie. The fine people of Web Jump. Something the Supreme Court of our United States of America cannot even define obscenity, but they have seen it as obscene. They have decided our stuff is obscene, Anthony. <sighs> So, so now we, so now we're looking for another uh, provider at this point Damn. in time. Why cannot I find a land for my material to rest in peace? <laughs> my God, we travel, journey together on this internet, just looking for a homeland that will accept us. <laughs> Let my pornography stay. <laughs> Damn you, Web Jump! <laughs> so here we are. Our journey continues for a homeland. Why, damn you? Why can't I put my smut on a website? Damn you! I'm a clip of uh, that horse having sex with a girl, too. They won't let that on there either. <laughs> damn them all to hell! We will, we will journey through the desert. Trying to find a website that will accept us for what we are. Perverts! Damn you! Well, there we go. That's six or seven think, sites we've been kicked off of. I believe that would be six. And our own on NEW site won't even let us on there. No, they won't even acknowledge us at this point, <laughs> our material. All right. Well, the search continues for a... Uh, for a, a, a server. I, I'm trying here, people. Yeah. So it may be a few days. We'll, we'll yeah. find someone new. We'll get something. Don't don't worry. <laughs> They'll be back. All right. Well, that's a nice little start to the well, program. Well, there you there. go. We're, we're off. We got the boss in the studio, but if we put him on mic, we're going to have to ask him some hard questions, so we'll let him sit there. Oh, yes. Unless he wants to take a mic. You were quoted in the Daily News today, boss. Did you see that? I like his answer. It wasn't a quote. 
His answer is, uh, oh, it wasn't a quote. It well, was, was him saying that... Uh, we don't comment on rumors. We don't comment on rumors. Short, yeah. concise. I like it. To the point. Did you have him whacked after he asked you such a, <laughs> an insulting, <laughs> disrespectful question? We actually never talked. You didn't? No. So how did he get that? Well, he left me a message that he wanted to talk to me. Yeah. And I left him a voicemail message back saying there's no reason to talk to me. But if you want a quote to put in your column... My quote would be. Oh, like oh I, I see. Hey, this is all about this whole thing about NEW just flipping formats for some reason. Now it's a, a, a rumor that it's going to be a talk station. I don't know. I haven't heard anything. But I, I am disturbed by something I read in that Daily News thing, boss. What's that? Did you read it? Yes. NEW staffer and all of a sudden they're spilling uh, uh, what was said in our private meetings. Did you read that? I want him dead. We got right. I want him whacked. <laughs> How do you do this? How do you handle this? Luca Brasi? You know what I think? <laughs> Who are you going to get? we got to right. whack this guy. You round up the usual suspects and you question them. <laughs> Who is it? I think this person should be, uh, should be made an example. You know, like, <laughs> or I grab the cannolis. And you know what? Not, <laughs> not, that, not, that, not that the things we talk about yeah. are like ultra top secret, mm -hmm. but what good could possibly come from talking to the newspapers about things that go on in our staff meetings? Exactly. Now, where do you think the rumors start? The rumors start from other radio stations. Yes. That are just trying to cause tumult. Right, Godfather. So who needs that? You are right. You are right, Godfather. Don Herman. <laughs> <laughs> we are behind you all the way. And we will find this traitor who, in the paper, is letting out family secrets. I don't like this. So how are you going to find them? Oh, well, I think it's the person that is going to arrange security for our next meeting. <laughs> Tessio, that bastard. He was always the smart one. It's strictly business. I understand this, but we can't let these people off the hook. I want him whacked. See, usually it's the person that comes to ask you about the format change that was the one that leaked it. Oh, oh, who came, came, who came to you? Oh, everyone. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> we will have to track this person down, though. And Don Herman, we will bring him to you. And you will administer your justice as you uh, do with your baseball bat up in Thank your you office. I want his head cracked open. <laughs> we cannot have our family business spilled about the papers in this fashion. Thank you. So we going all talk? <laughs> is that the oh, whole Opie, don't go to him with the quest. Oh my God, we're gonna have to. It's gonna be like Fredo. Is that, is that the rumor? Yeah, yeah. Do we have your permission to turn our show into a talk show? That'd be fun. Well, what do you think we're doing? <laughs> this is pretty much, that was, how much whether they like it or not. Opie, we've already made that decision. You've been on the year twenty-three minutes. How much music have you been playing? <laughs> no, yeah, my Godfather theme. Well, today we played four <laughs> records already. Sounds like it doesn't matter what I think. It sounds like you've already made it a talk station. <laughs> Uh, maybe that's where the rumors start. Yeah, really. They're listening to the Opie and Anthony show going, I never hear music. I think the rumors started with uh, Steve Mason and you guys. Yeah. You think so? Oh, we're, oh, we're conjuring this up. No. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Oh, we got uh, website providers on the line, Ant. Oh, good. Get them. Tell them I don't want. I don't want to sign anything. I don't want this wacky. We uh, uh, If you use a hundred uh, gigs, of, we pay, then you pay. I want a password. I want a username, and I want megs of of storage space, unlimited bandwidth. It sounds like a lot, but trust me, I will pop a banner on your <laughs> stupid site. We'll take care of you. I need space. I need speed. I need unlimited bandwidth. All right, you want I need prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take a break, I guess? Oh, yeah. Are you going to play music or something? Well, it is two for Tuesday. Oh, that's right. We've talked twice as long as we usually you know, do. Why do you say it like that? See, that that's what puts the rumor... <clears throat> well, oh. see, that, that's what prolongs the rumor. Look, he didn't you sound enthusiastic. Like, he didn't sound enthusiastic. Right. Well, I'm enthusiastic because there's only a few of these left. So. <laughs> oh! Oh! Check, please! <laughs> Wow! We can at least see the the end, the light at the end of the tunnel. So, <laughs> sound enthusiastic. The Rock of New York, 1027 WNEW, two for Tuesday. Creed, that's one. My own prison. Before that, from their debut CD. It's Sophie. It's Anthony. Hey. Wow. And no, we did not get fired. We just took a day off yesterday. Yes, we are back. We are back. We got to talk to Earl. Maybe not this break. Maybe later on in the show, because we haven't seen him since he uh, got punished with, with all those uh, nasty pictures. <laughs> when did uh, the website actually throw the pictures off? I'm not Was it over the weekend or uh, yeah, today? If you're just tuning in, we have uh, you know a lot of uh, 
you know, pretty rude pictures under the semi-live studio cam of our section of the WNEW website. Yeah. And we just got thrown off our sixth server because of the content of our pictures. Yeah, yeah. That being uh, pictures of Earl getting um, disciplined by Spike. Yeah. His hands were tied. He was gagged. There were things in his face that shouldn't be in his face. Yeah, she had something, an apparatus uh, strapped on, let's just say. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, she, she had high heels on. She was gouging them into his uh, groin area. Pretty, pretty uh, sick. Some of the best pictures I've ever seen. Yeah, really good. And uh, I don't know. I checked yesterday afternoon, and uh, they were gone. They were gone yesterday afternoon? Oh, yeah. They may have been gone by, like, Sunday or Saturday. God damn. Man. So, so we're, we're looking for a server now. We've gotten some leads, so hopefully I'll have these pictures back up by uh, later today or tonight. Well, we need a site by Friday because I think a couple girls are taking on Tara as the hottest girl to ever be naked on the Opie and Anthony show. Friday? We need, yes, we need some, uh, some mm. web space by Friday. Yeah. Hi, NEW. Hello. Hi, what's going on? Hey, what's up? I, I heard you guys need a new web app provider. Um, yeah, but this is boring for the radio, so hold on. Yeah. All right. Just get his name and number, man. Hi, N.E.W. Any yeah, yellow. Uh, hi, N.E.W. Yeah, they were still there at 5.30 last night. Oh, uh, they were? Yes, they were. That's about when I checked, so. They, they were still there. They were there Saturday night. Okay. Uh, they were there Friday night. All right. Because mm. I checked Friday. I heard, I heard it from upstate New York, the broadcast, and I checked it Friday night. Uh, so they threw it off uh, yeah, last, last night, night or sometime. From last night to this morning. That's okay. That means we got three good days out of it. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting much more than that, they to tell you the good. truth. I think between very, the... Uh, very explicit. I think between the, the Earl getting uh, uh, disciplined and then the Mentos video, I think, really put it over the top. That was that a little a explicit. A download. Yeah, it's a big, it was a big uh, file. Yeah, we got to get a faster server. Too. Yeah, a fast server. That should just pop right up. Is it the host or is it the, is it the receiver when they try to download it? I no. think it's the host, if I had to guess. Yeah, so, yeah. it wasn't I'm not, really. I'm not great on that, on that kind of stuff, but uh, it took a while. I did other things around the house while that thing came out. <laughs> oh, no, see, that should never be the case. Nah. I mean, there are servers out there. If you clicked on that Mentos file, it should have taken, what, a minute tops. No, I think it took over 10, 15 nah, minutes. Really? For me, we, yeah. Nah, we need a faster a provider than A couple of minutes. I think it, I honestly do think it took that long. All right. Because mm -hmm. I was doing other things Friday night when it was there. There you go. All right, thanks, buddy. No problem. All right. All right. Mm. Hi, NEW. Hi. Um, I just wanted to say that, you know, those pictures weren't so great to begin with. Really? Uh, you know, Spike isn't that great looking spice she, she's yeah. no you gotta understand she's hot in no. in the dominatrix kind of way you know okay in that way I we're, yeah we're not looking for a playboy model she um, was all about like discipline and chains yeah, and whips but, and tattoos and yeah yeah but yeah. you know you could have got somebody much better looking i don't know yes. as far as dominatrix go i think we were right on top of it spike no. works man i mean we no, could maybe tara doing the dominatrix thing but, but, see, uh, but see tara's like the the girl next door that's what her looks all about and spike is all yeah. about like scars and scabs spike's and, the real deal and being gnarly and stuff you know her boobs weren't the same size they were I noticed that. The one boob was a little bigger than the yeah. other. Oh, yeah. But, I didn't like that. Oh, boy, but who cares? Jeez. Wow. I guess Miss Perfect here uh, no, no, wants no, no, to no. come in here and pose. <laughs> no. No, <laughs> know what we could do? What? We could have a dominatrix uh, beauty pageant. Oh, that's <laughs> oh. an idea. With a little talent portion? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you yeah. think? Maybe. I mean, calling all dominatrix. <laughs> I mean, the publicity you well, would... maybe their boobs will be the same size. I would, I don't know. I would put my money on Spike on a dominatrix beauty know. contest. What, what, what was with the blue eyeshadow? That's what I mean. She's all about, yeah. like, looking like, like... The look. Yeah, she's all, nar you know, no. scabbed up you're not. Stuff. You're not in the scene, so you don't know what it's about. We, well, you know, we're in the be. scene. And, no, I don't, you know, maybe the talk, the, you know, with the sock that Tara was wearing, maybe that would have helped Spike a little bit. Mm. No, we're we, we, we're in it. You're in it. Yeah, we go down to the seedy clubs. <laughs> yeah. Well, well what do anybody you... could be in it. All right, wait. What do you look for in a dominatrix? Well, I. You're not going to get a really like hot Playboy model that pulls off the whole dominatrix angle. No. They could not. they could dress up in the dominatrix gear, but it it's just not the same. The of Hollywood. They're know? not going to be able to do it though. Yeah, you. Uh, she it cracks works in the Fredericks, whip. You know? she, she cracks the whip. She has strap on. She's so you'll get a girl that's all hot, dressed up in this uh, lingerie with a whip, going yeah. like, "Ooh, do you want me to tap you?" No, you no. need the real deal. Spike's real. Well, I mean, there's a 
there's a chance you're going to get hurt when you're with Spike. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it's not about, a, you know, fake uh, S&M. She's the real deal. I'm sure there are people out there who are into this that are decent looking. Let me tell you something. Um, no. No, actually, there aren't. Let me tell you something about Spike. She gets like $200 an hour to do that. She's got like, on Friday night, she was with a, t uh, a pretty serious TV producer that's in his 60s that likes to dress up as a girl as Spike disciplines him. <laughs> she dressed him up in a little girl dress. She's the real deal. It's, oh, it's not about, a you know, let's uh, let's get a little wild on a Friday night, honey. She, I know, yeah. I know. This lady makes her a living. Well, you and know, I find her attractive. You do? I do. There's something very uh, attractive it? about her. What is it? I don't, I don't know what it is. There's just something about her. First of all, her body is definitely not yeah, bad. Yeah, I, I like her bod. Um, and even the, if you get past that makeup and stuff. Thing? I mean, guys. I've seen her. a lot worse boobs. And she's a dirty girl. <laughs> she's a very dirty girl, and that's attractive. Well, you know, we can all fit the role sometimes. You, you know must be saying? really hot because oh, you're picky. Come on. Are you? Are you hot? No. Then why are you uh -oh. so picky? I'm not picky. I'm just saying, if you're going to put pictures on the Internet, let's have some night, you know? Uh, you Man. can go to, like, playboy.com and get that crap. We, we're, we're showing the real deal. The real um, deal. The um, stuff that gets kicked off of six consecutive web servers. Yeah, scabs. We're proud of it. <laughs> scabs and all. I mean, yeah. had, I mean well, Spike had hickeys and bruises uh, all over her body, man. Oh my, she was all no. roughed up. That's, you could punch up. Cheesy. You could punch up pictures of hot girls on the web at the drop of a hat. Put in hot girls. <laughs> and... and, and Everything will come up. I don't know. This offers something that's a little different. Oh, it's okay. the stuff that uh, gets banned. I mean, it's your opinion. I respect that. But I, I, I could take uh, an hour of calls from guys that all just would love to be with Spike you, for an hour. I, you know what? You guys have a little twisted... Um I don't know. You're into not the, the not so pretty looking girls. Even that the girl with the blonde hair that was on the the pictures. Uh huh. The and, little, and, you know, the little she was spinner. ugly too. Come on. She wasn't ugly. She was like a little little dirty ooh, girl. Ooh. What the the Gwen Stefani look alike? Uh, yeah. She's not ugly. What was, what was with the hair do? She wasn't ugly. Come on. I've seen the hotter girls, but I you know I wasn't with the hair head, head, man. I don't know. You know? I think you guys just have different, t you know, your tastes are not the norm. I don't know. I also, you know, like to look at a real hot model and stuff. It's, <laughs> it's all what you're into. It's all taste. Okay. You know? All right. Oh, but you're kind of cute, too, you know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, I got to go. Well, send a picture. <laughs> all right. I'll send a picture. All right. Thank you. Okay, bye. bye. <laughs> yeah, the blonde, the blonde girl's hair kind of did have that um, Sally uh from um, who's that? Sally Hansen. Sally from Hansen. Davy and Goliath. Oh Davey's, my God! Davy's sister, <laughs> Davy Hansen's sister, Sally. Remember her hair? Yeah. It looked like like the blonde thing, but two like yodels. Yes, yes. On the side, it was like those round. Even as a kid, I'm watching, going, "Hey, damn it, that looked like a couple of yodels." <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, man? Dominatrix beauty contest. Uh, yeah, you'll, I like it. You line up the dominatrix. And beauty is just a uh, a word in, in when we right. use it in that fashion. All sizes and shapes. Mm -hmm. I know there's a lot of dominatrix uh, women that uh, listen to us. They come in with their little get-up, and we'll have the listeners vote who's the hottest dominatrix. Who's the hottest dominatrix. Or someone, you know, will crown the hardcore champion, as See someone it. said on Friday. Hardcore so champion of the world! Yeah, we could do that. That's Spike's title, officially. Yeah, she's the hardcore champ. In WWF uh, terms, Tara <laughs> is the champ, hottest girl to ever pose naked on the Open Anthony yeah. show, and Spike is the hardcore champion of the world. We need our intercontinental and European champions. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and the belts will just ch change hands every day. All right. You want to play some more music? No. Well. Oh, uh, yeah. We got until they flip, so let's... Uh... <laughs> until... <laughs> You're, now you're confirming rumors, Opie. This is not; these are rumors. The bosses are going to great lengths to say these are indeed just rumors, That's started right. by other stations, people in the business. NEW has not made any decisions as far as uh, uh, changing any mu uh, any any formats. I don't know what you're saying. Okay, you heard the boss say he's not commenting on rumors. Right. Well, we asked him, and he didn't give us an answer. No, he didn't. I found that a little suspicious. <laughs> Look into it, man. We're not that dumb. Hey, come on. So, uh, all right, we'll play a couple tunes. What the hell? For a goof, huh? For a goof. We'll play a couple of tunes for a goof. <laughs> I understand. We'll play a tasty cut. Yeah. From Pink Floyd. We'll get, you know, we'll get a Pink Floyd song out of the way that you've heard a million times, and then one you've only heard a couple. <laughs> Is this the MDA telethon all of a sudden? It sounded like uh, Close Encounters.
All right. The Rock of New York, 1027, WNEW, two for Tuesday, Pink Floyd for metal. That's fearless. And run like hell before that. It's Opie and Anthony. Thanks for checking us out today. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Britney's, what's her name? Britney Spear? Yeah. Britney so. Spears on uh, MTV right now. Yeah. Let me look. Oh, yeah. I liked her better when she was called Debbie Gibson. <laughs> <laughs> Same chick, right? I think so. Yeah. I, th I think you're right there. Pretty much. <laughs> Did anyone else see the... God darn it. I knew I forgot something today. What? We were goofing on Jesse from MTV. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you yeah. see the commercial? They're running every, like, two minutes on MTV. Yes, about I how, have. How if he, if he could be a VJ, anyone can? Yeah. Damn, we need that audio. Yeah. Uh. That would be a VJ, really cool. That I get, I just go out and go to concerts. It's very, really cool being stupid VJ. Because <laughs> they're running that contest again, they're looking for another VJ. Yeah, this time I'm convinced they're just going to get a rock. <laughs> just get a big, dopey rock, put it somewhere, and put, like, VJ rock underneath it. Yeah. And then they'll just show it and then go to a video. Yeah. It would be less annoying than that stupid Jesse. And then just put the VJ rock on tour, and people would come out to see the to VJ see, rock. You are so right. You know? They could make the rock famous. Mm -hmm. So that when people see a rock, it'll be like, well, that's not the rock. That, mm -hmm. That's not the rock. Mm -hmm. But then when they bring the VJ, VJ rock, rock to your city, you'd, you'd, like, stand online. Of course you Look, would. Dude, that's the rock. Get a picture of me with the rock <laughs> they should do that that's better than to jesse yeah i'm a vj i'm a v could be gaga could go we got a roll tape on ftv because they will they will uh run the spot yeah, they've been playing it every two seconds every two seconds but that, that, it, what was the question but that's how pathetic our society is as, as far as fame in it yeah and stuff goes if we put like a rock on tv long enough yeah. and then you put the rock at a bookstore uh-huh people would line up to get a picture with the rock with the rock <laughs> MTV rocks with The Rock on spring break and like have The Rock with a bunch of chicks in bikinis. Yeah. And it's a whole special. Exactly. The Rock spring break special. And there's no, just no sound. It's just The Rock. It's just The Rock to check and out. And chicks. And chicks. You'd watch. Of course you would. More than I would Jesse because then I'd turn it off. Even with the chicks. Hey, we had spin back. It's very cool. I got the intelligence of a six year old. And we had spin back. Why wow, is it so great? We got lots of good bands. Here. Click, click, click. <laughs> I cannot change the friggin' channel faster. I don't care if there's 20 naked chicks behind them. Yeah. I can't get past. You think, how much sperm you think it takes to get his hair like that? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you want to throw another batch of? <laughs> oh, it's, there's something about Mary in his head. I mean, come on. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta get the audio of Jesse. Someone yeah. roll tape on MTV, cause yeah. it, and then we'll put it on the air, and then we'll go find it for another 20 minutes. You could be a VJ too. <laughs> oh, you cut out his brain, <laughs> you bastards! <laughs> All right, Anthony, stacker two. Stacker two, you need a boost of energy? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You all right, man? Yeah, I'm on stacker two. <laughs> he, he has energy. Look at him go. Wow. Now, uh, you've taken this. I took it today. And it gives you the energy you need to make it through the day. Um, Yeah, it's helping me. It is. Gives me a nice little boost of energy just in time for uh, the show. That's good. And uh, there you have it. It also says it uh, burns fat, Anthony. Mm-hmm. I guess if you're uh, you're uh, getting tired during the day, Stacker 2 would be for you. Yeah. If you're looking for an energy boost, you could try Stacker 2. If you're not happy, they'll give you your money back. Uh, the company's in New Jersey. You pop a pill, within an hour you get a boost of energy. And to order it, you could call 1-800-LIGHTLINE. The Rock of New York, 1027 WNEW. Two for Tuesday, Aerosmith. Dude looks like a lady and dream on. Those guys at the Oscars the other night. That is weird, huh? Yeah. It was very well, strange. I think they're kind of fitting into that whole thing these days. I don't know. Steven Tyler didn't know. look like he fit in with the Oscars. I don't mean that way. I mean, just with the uh, the age bracket of the, the people that are there. All that whole pomp and circumstance. Hoity-toity, up, stuck-up people. Yeah. I don't know. He's, he's, he's kind of... He's not... He's in a... I don't know. But I think he's getting he's getting fitting into that category these days. Like a sellout. That, that damn soundtrack, man, to the Armageddon. Eh. I don't know. N E W. Hey yo, you guys know that that Aerosmith song they were play, they played on the Oscars was written about Barbara Streisand and James Brolin, man. I don't want to miss a thing. 
Yeah, that's that's actually uh, James Brolin looking at Barbara Streisand sleeping, man. <laughs> I remember I remember that whole I mean, thing. Yeah, I mean, you know, Opie said that Aerosmith's a rock band, man. They ain't no rock band yeah, anymore. Not anymore. Did you check out Joe Perry's hair? Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. It What's like... going on there? I mean, you know, I I must say, I love Aerosmith, but yeah, I he's got to do something. they were great, He's got to do something with that hair. Definitely. I wonder how many guys have been uh, hitting on him lately with that hair, though. <laughs> no doubt. Hey, you guys are great, man. Uh, at least he chopped off that weird Fu Manchu thing yeah. he had going yeah, on, right. that strange... Um, I don't know what it was. It was like the, it was like the Hitler mustache were backwards. Backwards. Yeah, right. you shaved out the middle. Shaved right. out the middle and had the rest. Hey, wait a minute. I want to know, is that really what that's about? Yes. You now, know, who wrote that? Uh, you know, I don't know her name. It's not coming to me right now. But I did. I saw it on like a Barbara. Uh, oh no! Barbara Waters, uh, Walters. Was yeah, I remember this. Talking? James Brolin was saying uh, the uh, James Brolin, James Streisand. Yeah, Streisand. <laughs> Talk about the biggest pussy whip in the in, on the right? face of the earth. What normal man looks at a freaking woman? Well, after he does her, he's asleep, man. <laughs> well, no, he said that um, he, he looked at her one day right. and didn't want to go to sleep. He goes, I don't want to go to sleep. And Barbara goes, well, well, why don't you want to go to sleep? <laughs> and, and that's what the song's about. And he said, because... I don't want to miss a thing. Yeah, I, I, I'll miss you, and I don't want to miss oh, looking okay. at you while my eyes are closed. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Barbara Streisand you're bedding down with, not Pamela Lee. I know, right? She's not and, good to look at awake anyway. You know, remember the young James Brolin? You just figured, you know, he was a cool guy back in the 70s even. What, Marcus Welby he was on? Tough right. guy, man. Tough guy. He could get any chick he wanted. And man. then he's there, Barbara, I don't want to shut my eyes because I'll miss you, sweetums. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what that song's about? That's what that song's about. Ah, oh, oh, make me puke. Exactly. I can't listen to that song anymore. I want to punch the radio, man. Ah. <laughs> well, what do you think of the Oscars? I really don't watch that stuff, but I actually sat with my wife and watched it, and... Uh... I don't know. I almost threw something at the TV, man. <laughs> I, I can't take it. You know, we got into a big fight and stuff, and she went running upstairs. And, <laughs> wow, you know, on the I Oscar. Just switched on the sports channel, you know. It's so not real it and is. not anything any of us can relate to. These Hollywood bigwig jack-offs just parading around in their gowns and jewels. And yeah, but that's what li women love that, man. Yeah, the yeah. whole fashion show and stuff. Yeah. I, you know, I'm not sick of Roberto Benigni yet. Oh God, I can't take that guy anymore. Come as an Italian, as an Italian, I want him shot. <laughs> okay, this is great, <laughs> marvelous, this is wonderful. I cannot believe you, America. You love me. I love everybody. This is fabulous. I cannot. Shut up. <laughs> Have you had enough of this guy? <laughs> you, you see that S? Uh, oh, I can't. Uh, S eating grin. I almost slipped. <laughs> right. That he had during the whole Oscars. Yeah, he's like an Italian retard walking say, around. It looks like a retard that you just uh, you know brought to the zoo and they just saw some animals. Yeah, and yeah. All happy and stuff. Yeah. Right. That's what he is. You know. Look at the me. <laughs> <laughs> I just made a poopy in my pants. Is hey, and everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to see the poopy in my pants? <laughs> they look and they, they all, everyone's like. The anchor uh, doing the news comes back from the clips of the Oscars and they're like they're all laughing. <laughs> what spirit this man has? Is he great? He just he's so up all the time. Who cares? This is wonderful. I cannot believe you America people love me. This is fabulous. How about that Robin Williams character though, man? Is anything he says funny at all? No, no, no. no, no. It, never, it never was. It's unbelievable. Man. It never was. We were all tricked. Even even uh, Whoopi Goldberg. I mean, nothing she said was even oh, close to funny. Whoopi is not funny. I don't think she ever has been. And oh. uh, she proved that last night, too. Because, I mean, all she ever did was... was Used like that, uh, her black slang thing, mm -hmm. and uh, goofing on the president. Right, and then and the it's not minute, washing. And then the next minute she talks like a white person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a white person. Yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> oh, oh my she's goodness. Talking ebonics, the next minute she's talking like a white person. Well, I know what you're trying to say. But they got a little upset. A few of the uh, executives at the uh, station got uh, got upset because she was uh, manipulating the microphone. At one point, really? like it was a, a penis. Yeah, when Liam uh, Neeson was uh, being introduced, yeah. he stroked in the the uh, <laughs> microphone like I it was a that. big schlong. Like God. Liam's gonna want a piece of you. Yeah, like that's a vision we need to see. Oh gosh, she's got to wear baggy pants so her boobs can fit in her legs. <laughs>
<laughs> Those things are swinging. What's that old joke? What does uh, Whoopi Goldberg <laughs> giving you a Hummer and uh, tightrope walking across the Grand Canyon have in common? What? What? And both you don't want to look down. Right. <laughs> right. I love that guy. Right, there it is. Listen, I gotta there get it is. Oh, we roll the tape. All right, man. Take yeah. it easy. Love you. Yeah, there it is. The Jesse commercial just came on. Good. We have tape of it. We have tape of it. <laughs> get that on card immediately. We got to goof on Jesse. The spot they're running on MTV. <laughs> So there you go. I don't know if there's anything else to talk about with the Oscars. That no, was, was pretty lackluster, pretty boring. There wasn't any... Uh... Dude, would you throw Sophia Loren one still or what? No, stop with Sophia Loren. Everybody's saying how what a babe she is. She's like a grandma. She was, She's like a great grandma. I don't know, man. There was something going on. I there. don't know. Dude, it's TV. They cake stuff on. They're pulling, tugging. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you want to see that? Hey, Opie, come to me. <laughs> come over here. As she takes it off and just like a mess. <laughs> you want to see that? I don't know, man. I think I'd go on. I love Sophia. <laughs> She's so beautiful, isn't she? Everybody's wonderful. Why not? I don't know, man. You wouldn't throw Sophia one? You have a problem. Hi James! Hi, Eddie. You love the old broads, hey, man. All right, what do you got? <laughs> Sophia uh, Lorenz, 80. Did you hear about the uh, Al Sharpton quote the other day? No, what's the Al Sharpton? Sharpton quote. When he was talking about um, he's going to do a hunger strike at Rikers Island. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear about that? Really? No. Sharp, yeah, it was, uh, it was yesterday. They quoted him because of uh, the fact that if uh, he's doing that march in Washington, D.C., so right. if that doesn't work, he's going to come back to New York. And he's going to do a hunger strike at Rikers Island. He, so, he, uh, yeah, but like a whale, he could uh, live <laughs> off that blubber for years. Exactly. A camel with its hump. I don't, I, don't think he can go, I don't think he can go an hour without a meal. <laughs> That'd be pretty damn funny to say. I will yeah. continue this until we have justice. <laughs> now, how long's it been? <laughs> damn, my stomach's growling. Right. I'm a little... Now, does a hunger strike include yodels and ring dings? <laughs> Just want to clear that up. What about a coffee cake? I love them drinks, coffee cake. I need a value meal. <laughs> How about a happy meal? Right. <laughs> All right. I guess uh, we'll take a break here. We have the Jesse uh, clip yeah, now. Right. You just got to hear how retarded that... I don't, they, weren't there talented people that actually wanted to be VJs? Well, honestly, there's a lot of uh, kids, let's say, yeah. that are in broadcasting, and uh, they work their ass off four or five years in college, and they yeah. want to break in the business. Mm -hmm. And it's almost an embarrassment. You turn on the tube, you're working your ass off, and you see someone like Jesse on MTV. Yeah. You know? It, I understand. It's taking up space, and there's a lot of uh, people that really want to do that and would do a great job. It's like the uh, original Mercury astronauts, Opie. Very qualified, mm -hmm. highly trained. And they were upset when they used to send the monkey up in the capsule. <laughs> well, it's the same thing. They got a monkey running this show. Pretty much. Jesse, that's great. Uh, you want to hear Petty or the Pumpkins? Oh, God, that's my nice pumpkin. That's a good bear. The Rock of New York, 1027 WNEW, two for Tuesday, Smashing Pumpkins, Cherub Rock, and 1979. Hey, what we didn't touch on with the Oscars just before was the whole uh, Lewinsky thing. Yeah. Like, she w went to all these parties. Mm -hmm. She got in her big, fat gown yeah. and uh, went with uh, Jonathan Marshall. I guess he's some entertainment lawyer or something uh, yes, in New I'm York. Here. And made the rounds of the parties. That just goes to show you how screwed up this country is. And I screwed up that whole entertainment thing the Oscars are. She is known for uh, giving a hummer to the president. Mm -hmm. Period. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. And now she's accepted by Hollywood's elite. Hollywood's uh, royal family. Yeah. She is at these parties. Opie and I, we uh, went to an Oscar party once. <laughs> oh, we did, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, remember? Remember uh, three or four years ago? Oh, remember that? Uh, a radio station uh, in Boston was kind enough to send us out to Los Angeles for the Oscars. Yeah. <laughs> we interviewed a bunch of hacks. We couldn't get near any of the stars. Right. So we figure, hey, there's the Oscar party at Spago. Uh -huh. We're going to Spago <laughs> like everyone, like all the big Hollywood types, right? Yeah, we figured we're in L.A. and we're on the radio. We're pretty important. We'll get, <laughs> we'll get into this party. <laughs> Spago! <laughs> so we, we cart our asses down to Spago, uh, yeah. where there's a line of geeks and freaks looking for celebrities. And we, we, we realize at this point, we ain't getting in. <laughs> of course we? Not. But at least we found a little, a two by six board mm -hmm. up on two cinder blocks. Yeah. That put us a little higher than the crowd so we could gawk with the rest of the freaks. Well, you gotta explain too, that was kinda like, uh, the press area sort of ant. Sorta. Of. I didn't like, understand what it was. There was some paparazzi up there and some reporters. Mm -hmm. So we're like, hey, we're on the radio. We got these groovy looking badges that look sure. important. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll go into the press area as well. Maybe we'll get a couple questions out, you know? 
Yeah. So we go from, you know, maybe uh, having dinner with Madonna at Spago to, all right, we'll just stand on this board. And, and just watch and, the celebrities come and go. Gawk at people, sure. Yeah. We're up there no longer than, I guess, a minute. Some big guy comes over and goes, hey, you can't stand on that. <laughs> we got kicked off of the board. In front of Spago. Yeah. We, we couldn't even stand on a two-by-six. We weren't worthy enough to stand on a damn no. piece of wood. But Madam Tonsil Hockey gets into all the parties <laughs> with her big, fat, glittery dress. Uh, yeah. And he stains on it that night, Monica? Did Jonathan leave a... A stain? <laughs> you know what is more disgusting than all that? Katie Lang uh, is quoted in the paper today that she told Monica that she had a sex dream about her. <laughs> so, uh, sorry, Katie. There seems to be something missing on your anatomy that she really likes. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, where's that? Monica was seated under uh, table 14. <laughs> <laughs> that was, no, honestly, I'm not going to take credit for that. Don't worry, because I know people heard it somewhere else. That's Jay Leno's joke that he told 100 people. Oh, really? Every time you saw Jay Leno on TV, he was telling that same joke. He was so proud of it. Well, uh, Monica, Monica Lewinsky, uh, she's seated under table 14. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Check, please. Check, please. Uh, <laughs> what a buffoon. Well, there you have it. How so. about that Monica Lewinsky, people? Yeah. You know, she was seated under table 14. <laughs> uh, what a mess. Alan, what? What do you got? A little note? I, I Phone call? I don't know. Kevin, you gotta like print, I think. <laughs> yeah, what oh what is he writing in cursive? Oh, yeah, it's Give like, me that, let me see. All right. Come on, get out of here. He's writing Kevin's like our, our intern, he's great. He's uh, screening the calls. Now read what it says. <laughs> wait, wait. The, he scribbled out the first two. Yeah. And you can't tell what he scribbled to what he wants you to read. Yeah. Because it looks like the scribble. Fine in good more what? To speak to Oh, you have issues. You have some, some problems. <laughs> N.E.W., what do you have? You should go over to MTV, hey. see if you can be a VJ. Hey, Elvis, <laughs> Who is it? My name's Dennis. Hey, Dennis, what's up? Just touching upon the Monica Lewinsky thing. Yeah. I was watching Good Morning America yesterday, and uh, one of the ladies was there, and she said she couldn't even get to Monica. There was a huge line, and supposedly Monica's hanging out with Madonna. Yeah, I, you know, I'm not a huge Madonna fan. But all of a sudden, Madonna was like kind of tossed aside because Monica was there. I yeah. think Madonna has done more for our society than <laughs> not much than Monica. <laughs> but that's how we think in this country, you know. Yep. It's Monica. Everyone wanted to see Monica, yep. and she's known for one thing: the presidential schween. <laughs> she has embraced it, <laughs> loved it, yeah, serviced it, yes, and that's what's making her famous right now. Uh. They're taking pictures of her, and meanwhile, presidential penis is uh, ready to launch uh, missiles mm -hmm. into Yugoslavia. This is great. There you have is it. anybody uh, interested in that? Maybe we're going we're going insane as a country. Maybe we're just insane now. President uh, getting ready to shoot his load once again. <laughs> his load of missiles. Yeah, his military of load. I, what, what? Right. I will take my missile and thrust it right into oh. Kosovo. Kosovo, who's she? I like them foreign broads. <laughs> when can I get some of that Kosovo? Yeah. Well, get some. Well, get some. He, well, you know, his wife and daughter are out of the country. That's what I hear. Yes, Africa, is it? Uh, they're taking a little 12-day trip of Africa. They've been over there a lot. Yeah. There's so many countries to visit on the globe. And for some reason, they went a while back, and now they're going again. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Now, interestingly enough, I think we have exclusive audio, Anthony. I don't doubt it. Uh, we Why got, wouldn't we? We got audio <laughs> of uh, Hillary and Chelsea in uh, Africa. I can't wait to hear it. We'll be playing that a little later on in the show. Also, where's Black Earl? Where is he? Where's Earl? We got to talk to him today. He's rejoicing that his pictures, uh, the pictures of him getting disciplined by Spike were uh, kicked off the web page. Well, a lot of people sending instant uh, feedback saying, hey, man, why aren't you telling your faithful listeners that you guys got censored again? We, we talked about it earlier in the show. We yeah. got censored by what, Web Jump? Web Jump was Web Dump to me. <laughs> and OP, they, uh, they took our pictures off. Mm -hmm. And we ran down, we read down the list of reasons that you might get dumped off of Web Jump. And uh, the only one that fit was obscene material. Yes. They can judge what's obscene. The Supreme Court still has not decided what obscene is. Can't define it. But WebJump has realized uh, maybe that Mentos video.
<laughs> was up saying that, that was classic. I showed so many people that this weekend. People like that one. Uh, big time. Well, we're going to find another server, I guess, because that's uh, the sixth one we've been kicked off of. Yeah, seven's a charm. So don't worry. We'll get the pictures back eventually. Oh, they'll we, be back When up. we find a, a cool server. Now, where's Earl? Is he still in the building? He's, uh, I think he's in the bathroom. All right. Well, here's the deal. Because mm. we're running so late. Let's just play a, a, a few spots, and we'll come back, hopefully, with Earl. Okay. Instead of music. Is that cool? That sounds good. Can we but handle you're gonna, that? You're going to perpetuate these rumors, Opie. Uh, what's that, By Anthony? not playing music. What? There's, no one's talking about that. <laughs> I read something in the paper. Huge article in the Daily News. Yeah. Rumor has it we're going all talk. It's we rumor. had the boss on earlier, and he, uh, he didn't confirm or deny the rumor. He's out right now looking to whack the staffers that spoke with uh, the Daily News. Yeah. Well, Our boss will do that. You'll find uh, two, two, uh, two people that worked here. Mm -hmm. In the river. Mm -hmm. Floating in the East River. Well, we got a bunch of rats on the staff. We know that already. A bunch of uh, rats going to the press, talking about our private meetings, staff meetings. That's just stupid. All right, it's Opie, it's Anthony, and it's our, and it's our uh, buddy, our pal, Earl. Black hey. Earl, everyone. What's up, man? What's happening? Earl can't stay long. He's very busy. <laughs> He's working very diligently today. Well, the, the, everyone's getting ready for the Dave Matthews thing tomorrow. Yes. Mm -hmm. We have tickets to give away? Yeah, we do. We forgot to give away our tickets last hour. Oh, we can do that. We'll yeah. do that. But, uh, Earl, I noticed you're still standing. You haven't sat down since Friday? or <laughs> I'm, I'm in pretty good shape, actually. Are you? Yeah. Did, were you sore at all this weekend from your beating from Spike? Uh, a little sore in the groin area, but other than that, I'm fine. <laughs> she was stepping on him with high heels, Spike heels. Yeah, are you sore from the from the high heels or from the, uh, the what was that? I never used to like. Well, don't get uh, too happy. <laughs> don't get yourself too attached to. Uh, <laughs> oh, great. Right. The current uh, format. Uh, we're teasing, of course. All right. No, yeah. all I'm saying is like, oh. I like certain kinds of music. Oh, and a lot yeah, of this is the line you got to. This is what you got to listen to when when you're like in a bar trying to pick up a chick. Oh. You got to listen to these stories. I know. We're we're like the guy with the coke to the coke whore <laughs> right now. <laughs> like she'll say anything to us. No, just listen. Just listen. What? New York has like such an incredible music scene. Uh, uh, yeah. You know, in the bar, oh, you got to sit and listen. Like, yeah, yeah. And meanwhile, you're just going, God, I hope this pans out. Yeah, because in your head, you're thinking, man, I wonder what you. Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> so you you like act really interested. Yeah, the music scene in New York. Yeah. Damn the yeah, damn yeah. the music scene. Yes, it does suck. God, we are so much alike. No. You know, we are so much alike. I love puppies too. I love puppies. I love game magic, and I don't care what you think. I love them. Uh, I love them. I travel thousands uh, of miles with somebody yes, them. I yes, travel yes, we Germany, know. We in know. London, uh, in Amsterdam, and I've seen them here all over uh, the country. And I want to see them tomorrow. All right, I, I, yes, I put her on hold. No, I agree. Yes, the tampon much better than the pad. <laughs> Am I getting laid tonight? Please, so I can finish this conversation. She's probably, she's probably freaked out because we put her on hold. We're on, on delay. Hold on. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi. I, I thought we lost you there. No, I'm listening to you. Put me on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Look at her. Oh. <laughs> now she's listening to herself. Now, now she's back on hold. Ugh. Ugh. Now, obviously, we didn't even ask her the question, but it's so obvious she's not going to get it. Right. But now she's a huge Dave Matthews fan. Hi, who's this? Hi, uh, my name's Jim. Hi, Jim. How are you? Good, good. I'm calling. This lady's so annoying, man. <laughs> no, hey, really? Can I ask you a question? All right, look. Isn't it? It's just like every girl. You, you, you try to pick up in a bar. Yeah, man. And you just, you got to put up with it. You, you got to. Because you're trying. You're working it. Yeah. No, I do understand. Yeah. It's yes. Like the, uh, no, tell me about how your father screwed you over again. <laughs> God, I love that. Yeah, I not, sympathize yeah. so much. Oh, you poor thing. <laughs> if I could work up a tear, I'm in. And inside your head, you have this hourglass, you know. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's going down like your schween. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, what's your deal with Dave Matthews? Uh, yeah, I think they're a great band. Mm -hmm. um, fan of your show. Uh, and I'll take a stab at the, uh, the Viagra question. All right. We uh, made an analogy about Viagra when it uh, first hit in first the summer. Hit. Uh, like acid? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> That's a good one, though. Uh, it was close. Hi, right, man. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. This is a hard one, man. Hi, NEW. Hi, I'm calling uh, to win the Dave Matthews tickets. All right, what's your name? Uh, Michael. Hi, Michael. Where are you calling from? Uh, I'm in my car in the northern state. I just left Huntington. How's the traffic? 
It's not bad. All right, cool. You got an answer to the ONA uh, trivia question? Uh, well, I didn't hear the actual. They were comparing Viagra to something. Yeah, we uh, did an analogy about Viagra when we first. Uh, oh, is this Obi? Yeah. Hey, I went. I was at the Longshore Brewery a couple weeks ago. Why not? All right, good time. You got an answer, dude? Because your phone's crapping out on us. Oh, uh, you compared it to crack? No. Oh. All right, man. Yeah. We got to go. Your phone sucks. Okay, so All thanks. Right. All right, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Yeah. We'll take two more callers. Yeah. If they know the answer, they get the tickets flat out. If not, I'm going to give it to the, the huge Dave Matthews. Fan. I figured you would do that. Is that cool? That sounds okay. All right. She's going to freak now if someone gets Because she's still listening. Yeah. Hi, NEW. N-E-W. Yeah. All right, what's your name? My name's Mike. All right, Mike, do you know the answer to the O&A trivia question? I do, I do. Uh, Jesus. Uh-oh. I know, I was listening. All right, we need an answer, dude. All right. Put the bong down. Yeah. <laughs> it was, uh, Viagra was compared to... <laughs> he's just, he's, he's milking uh, it. Uh, I do now. I, I, I forgot. I, I know. Sorry. All right, thanks. All right. It's compared to the thing that you guys once <laughs> called a... Oh, my all right, what's your? All right, this is the last. <laughs> what's going on, man? There's such ding dong. All right, what's your name again? You didn't know my name in the first place. Oh yeah, what's your name? Laura. Laura, the annoying caller. I'm Laura, annoying. the annoying Dave Matthews, Matthews caller. Right, you're gonna regret that. All right, Laura, here's the deal. I'm putting you on hold. Okay. If, if the next person doesn't know the answer, then you got the, the, the tickets for this uh, private show. Dude, okay. leave her on the line. All right, yeah. let's let her live through this horror. I'm <laughs> I listen to the radio. All right, all right, stay on the line. Hold okay. on. All right. God, I hope I gotta he make gets this it. work. I hope he gets it. Laura? Laura? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I hope this works. All right. Ah, I hung up on her. Hold on. Ah. Uh. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Where? It's Laura. All right, hold on. Who's this? It's uh, Laura. Hold on, everyone. Goddamn <laughs> phone. It's like mission control over there. When we go, oh, we lost Houston. All right, when we go all talk, <laughs> I hope they fix the phone. <laughs> all right, Laura. Yeah. All right, hold on, the line. I'm gonna try this again. All right. <laughs> all right, hi. Who's this? This is Kyle. All right, Kyle, hold on. <laughs> what a pain in the ass. All right, Laura. Yeah. Kyle. Yes. Sir. All right, cool. All right, Laura, shut up, all right? I'm not saying anything. All right. I, I just <laughs> wanted to say... Shut up. No, wait, wait, believe me, it was a preemptive shut up. We knew it was coming. Preemptive shut up. All right. Go ahead. Kyle, for the Dave... Ma Where are you calling from, Kyle? Uh, Manhattan. All right. For the Dave Matthews... Uh, are you a big Opie and Anthony fan? Uh, huge. Guys are hilarious. And how long have you been listening? Um, about three, four months. Oh, uh, see? Uh, okay, uh, this might, could he, be good, then. This could be good. Could be good for the girl. All right, Kyle, what Yo. is the answer to the ONA trivia question? We'll give it to you again. When uh, Viagra hit the scene in the summer, we made an analogy of what it was like. Uh, ecstasy? No. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, come on, guys. I'm going all day. Uh, sorry, man. Can't, uh, can't uh, take uh, two Hello? people. Laura. Yeah? You're going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Look at her. Yeah! <laughs> Listen to her. She's yes! squealing. Yes! Oh, yes! Thank you. Thank you. Thank to be you. honest, I wanted to give them to you from the beginning because ah! you, you're too, too ah! cool. Oh, oh, stop trying. What are you trying to pick her off? Yeah, yeah listen to her. <laughs> Is she hot? <laughs> I gotta know. Wow, she almost went from like being real excited about Dave Matthews to having like an orgasm. I know. <laughs> Yeah. Yesterday I was calling all the oh, time. No one wants to hear this. Oh, right, I won't talk because you're going to just make fun of me anyhow. So all right. Oh. <laughs> what she said? Now she's all... <laughs> don't be pissed. What, are we married? <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want this whole thing to be on the radio. My friend's probably at work going, oh, my God, that's Laura. Yeah. Oh, my God, bless you. I'm so... <laughs> What's the station? <laughs> oh. <laughs> all, right, all right, listen, we got... Oh. Oh. Yeah, we got to do the big contest outro. We got to do the tagline, you know, when like uh, Z100 and all those go, What's your favorite radio station? I'm really oh, sorry, I'm so, my heart's being so bad. I'm right, listen, so happy. Laura, what's the radio station that wants to see your balloon knot? <laughs> WNEW? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh! All right. How do we do this? All right, hold on the line. Okay. Hopefully I won't hang up on you. <laughs> and you got you got the text for Dave Matthews. Thank we'll, you. We'll see you tomorrow with Ralph Tatora, all right? All right. Laura's on line five. Wow. <laughs> That's cool. I'm exhausted just listening to her. Well, the Viagra analogy, eh, it's good, but we got to take a break. Yeah. Maybe we'll do it a little later. How's that? 
Okay, we'll fill you in on that. Yeah, uh, you want to hear, oh, wow, Pearl Jam or ACDC next? Uh, it depends on the Pearl Jam. I've heard some, Pearl, like Pearl Jam is very iffy with me. Sometimes I love it, but there are some songs I cannot sit through. Jeremy and Nothing Man. Those are pretty good. ACDC, You Shook Me All Night Long or Money Talks? Mm. I've heard those enough. Really? I've heard all four enough, to tell you the truth. <laughs> well, when we go all talk, you won't have to worry about it. <laughs> Stop perpetuating rumors. Well, everyone else is talking about it in the in, in the city. Let's make believe uh, we don't know anything. We're about not it. supposed to talk about such things, I'll bite. All right, Pearl Jam or ACDC? You said Pearl Jam? Uh, go with the Pearl Jam. All right, we'll be back. All right, we'll take a little musical break here. On the way next, some audio from Hillary and Chelsea's trip to Africa. <laughs> it's a Opie and Anthony exclusive. In the meantime, it's two for Tuesday. The Rock of New York, 1027 WNEW, two for Tuesday with Pearl Jam, Nothing Man, and Jeremy. Just love hearing you say that. <laughs> what, two for Tuesday? Two for. A two for everyone. It's a two for on t this Tuesday, on this two for Tuesday. Care! <laughs> <laughs> hey, stop it. You're not supposed to say things like that. You've been what? yelled at. See, we're, we're, we're able to, um, with the twofers, get, you know, the second cut could be more of a tastier, a tastier cut. I see. Mm -hmm. Tasty two for Tuesday <laughs> cut for you. Tasty tune on a tasty two for Tuesday. When are we going to start doing Black Party Weekends? That's what Black I want to know. Hey, get the lead out. Let's get the lead out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, as a goof, when I was working in Buffalo Radio, you know, because every station was get, uh, getting the let out. That was the big thing. Let's right. play three in a row from Led Zeppelin called Get the Let Out. It'll be <laughs> Zanerific Radio. I uh, started a thing in Buffalo called Mandatory Metallica. A mandatory Metallica? That was you? Yeah, that was me. Ho, ho. That's taken over the whole country. Mm. I've heard that. That's the latest, so. All right. Well, we could, wow. we could uh, play the audio from... Um, Chelsea and Hillary, mm -hmm. Clinton, they're over there in Africa. We got some exclusive audio. Okay. Or we could go to the phones and talk to our drunk, drunk friend, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Jay's on the phone, huh? Well, you hung out with Jay this weekend, right? I was up in uh, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hung out with Jay. And uh, it's always a common theme when we're hanging out. It, it's very funny. I, I, we got to explain Jay. Um, Anthony and I, very good friends off the air. This is not like a little, you know, goof we do, you know, where we act like we're, we like each other on radio and then hate each other like every other uh, team in New York. <laughs> and we have one friend. Yeah. One friend. We've known each other for five years. We have one friend. That's true. And it's Drunken Jay. Drunken Jay. <laughs> Drunken Jay. He's not drunk now. No, I'm not. Thank you. <laughs> Make him sound like he's drunk all the time. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> I know. Isn't that great? <laughs> it's so funny because, like, when I hang out with Jay, yeah, we, we, we do, like, athletic stuff. That's true. You do uh, maybe some rollerblading. Or, you know, we'll, uh, yeah, walk the streets and uh, check out record stores and stuff. Right. right. Now, when Anthony hangs out with Jay, it's, it's just <laughs> drinking and brunch and throwing darts at uh, things you're not supposed to th throw darts at. <laughs> yeah, the liver has to really get in tune before... Uh what we have. There are, we're still doing sporting events, but they take on a whole new, <laughs> I don't know. Now, well, now, this, this is a, a theme that is running through because uh, since we've been back in New York, uh, I go up there to visit because my wife Jennifer's family still lives up there. Mm -hmm. So we go on uh, little outings. The first one you may have remembered uh, was the Renaissance Festival <laughs> that uh, I went on. Now, so it wouldn't just be me and Jen and my mother-in-law and maybe Annie Marg who was at the original Renaissance, <laughs> so the festival was a whole new thing to her. It was cold. She uh, told it was, us it was accurate. Yeah, it was a revival yeah. for her. <laughs> oh, King Richard, I did him. <laughs> but, so uh, we went to that. Well, we're drinking beer like crazy. At the, we, we were just like big steins. <laughs> we turned into those nights. Yeah. By the end of the day, we're tanked throwing hatchets at wood. At, we're supposed to be at the wood. But then, then we're just picking targets. Bet you can't hit that tree. I stand about six feet tall. There was a tall girl right next to me, yeah. and I missed. Bad. I'm talking yeah. the hatchet just bounces off the wall. And this dude, this, you know, teenager who just handed me four hatchets while I've got, I have to put down two beers to get them. Dude, why don't you, like, move back a step or two? So now the hatchet is equal with her head, and I whip it, and it just goes right past her ear. 
But of course, he had a few. She was laughing too. Everyone was laughing at the hatchets and the drunk people. Now. You guys uh, almost got kicked out of a bar Sunday. Well, no, they, you got to remember now. There was another time we visited where, well, we, me and Jen and Jay figured we'd go bowling, <laughs> but we couldn't find. You can't find cool regular bowling up there, so we had to do that fag candle pin bowling oh. with the tiny ball. That it, yeah, like the a softball. The ball is like the size of a softball. The pins are little candle sticks, <laughs> and you you whip this ball down there. So of course, drinking, and then at one point, Jay uh, bet me that. He could take this candle pin ball, throw it down, which is a regulation uh, lane, alley, same length. Without hitting the lane, the ball will land in the center of the pins, thus scoring a strike. <laughs> I couldn't get the money out of my pocket fast enough to see this. He shot puts this thing. He gave it a little too much. It hit the sign. You know those big signs over the alleys that say, like, you know, Junior League Bowling starts here? Yeah. He hit it the let like alphabet soup. They're falling all over every other lane. We started uh, unlacing our shoes at that point. We, we knew. were out of there quicker than a chippy at one of Fredo's get-togethers. <laughs> Godfather reference. Godfather reference. We love Godfather references. So now uh, I'm up there this weekend. So we decide to uh, catch some brunch. Uh, this is the Sunday tradition. We uh, go to this uh, small place that has a little brunch and drinks that are made like just don't smoke near them. <laughs> so uh, what were you drinking? You were drinking those uh, vodka grapefruits. They call it a great greyhound. A greyhound. It's basically a big thing of vodka with some yellow food color. <laughs> <laughs> and I had some, like some Bloody Marys and stuff. And uh, then we decided we'd hit the bar down the road. To play some darts. Wait, can I explain the bar? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a bloodbath. I've been there. Yeah. It, it's called Green Acres. Yeah. And this is a place that has uh, all-out bar fights every weekend. It's a small local place, but they need bouncers in the place because somebody will always be dragged out, kicking, it punching. It's like one of those old Burt Reynolds movies every Friday night yeah. and Saturday night. And Just insane. And on Monday, <laughs> and, and on Monday they're re replacing the panes of glass outside yeah. every single Monday. I'm not exaggerating. This place is, a, is just a sick bar. Exactly. People get kicked into this bar. <laughs> <laughs> now, so the, the story goes, you guys went there Sunday. Sunday you, after brunch. You almost got kicked out of this bar. Almost no one, got kicked no out. one gets kicked out of this bar. Well, we're playing darts, because that's what we went there for. Oh, and yes, two to drink. And uh, the game of darts just didn't seem exciting enough, so we had to play it from the table we were sitting at <laughs> across the room, <laughs> which still wasn't bad because we were trying to hit the dartboard. Yeah. Then it got to the point where Jay starts taking the chalk that you score with and making X's on various things around the bar. And we're betting a buck a shot who can get closest to his X. So it's like the fire extinguisher. Whap, whap. Foog. Foog. My buck. You know, you hit the guy coming out of the bathroom. That doesn't matter if he passed the extinguisher. It has to hit the extinguisher. It was a mess. People were walking right by us. You're the one, though. Hey, try to hit the outlet. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to... And you know what? I was I was so bad off, I just said, you know what? There's no way I'm going to hit it anyway, so I just throw it anyway, so... Yeah. And Jen was giving us looks like... Oh, uh, she was getting pissed, and, and then the owner of the place was like, you know, you keep this up, you're going to have to leave. We don't want your kind. And of course, I turned around and just said, God bless you, Miss Parker! <laughs> Told him. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Jay, St. Uh, Patty's Day wasn't the same this year without you. Oh, no. man, I'm sure. We, we went to... Um, I'm sure there's a lot left over. Well, <laughs> it wasn't like last year with the kids blowing off uh, the, the fireworks in the streets and stuff. No, Saudi in Boston, very Irish down there. And, uh, yeah, they, they celebrate St. Patty's Day different. I think they're training the children for the IRA. <laughs> I swear to God, we were walking down the streets of Saudi in Boston, yeah. St. Patty's Day. Yeah. These kids, I don't know where they got these things. They were called bomb packs. <laughs> I kid you not. It's a package that you, you pull this little string out of and then throw it, and 10 seconds later, it blows up. It makes like a little, you know, little kitty explosion, but it, in fact, blows up. Yeah. And I hear some of the fathers going, No, son, this is how you do it. First, you got to put the hood of the car and put it in the car, but it, uh, that'll get the British bastard. It's the queen. I was like, Dude, you're, you're in Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, hey, we have some fun when alcohol's involved, don't we? That was some fun. Yeah. All right. All right, man. We'll be up there, uh, you know, soon. All right. See you again. Uh, think up some other sport. 
maybe we could do? Well, we're trying to hire Drunken J uh, Jay for our show. Uh, maybe Crowded Street Javelin Throw. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> anything else to add, Jay? Or? Uh, no. You don't mm -hmm. want to abuse us back or anything? All uh, done? No. No. I'm uh. too drunk to do it. <laughs> Still, of course, because it's our friend Drunk Jay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh, poor guy. What Come a, on. What a name. Guy's a well-respected man in the community. <laughs> what community? <laughs> well, the drunk community, but uh, it is a community. <laughs> Yeah, the town drunk. Let's, let's pull that old one out. <laughs> <laughs> now, Otis, back in the sale. Oh, no, I'm out of here. Right, he's Jay. done. Take now he's me. mad. I will right, we'll see you soon, man. Bye, man. Let Later. it fly. our pal. Jay, our only pal. You gotta go two states away just to hang out and drink with somebody. The Rock of New York, 1027 WNEW, two for Tuesday, ACDC, Money Talks, and you shook me all night long. It's Opie, it's Anthony, hey. and it's Australian Mark in the studio. Uh, good day, how's it going? Good day, eh? <laughs> 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 I don't even know what that was. <laughs> well, uh, man, I think we need to explain that. On the way, a chance to win uh, Dave Matthews tickets. Mark just cursed. I uh, couldn't tell. If he was on it's Australian, course, it doesn't count. Yeah, if he was course. on uh, Australian radio, he wouldn't have gotten away with what he just said. Exactly. Or, or, or would you? Hey, I know you. <laughs> <laughs> are, the, are the rules uh, strict down there? No, they're not. No, there's, no. Uh, it's, it's a little more relaxed there. Yeah. Well, who cares if a kangaroo is you? <laughs> <laughs> well, we invited Mark onto the show today. Cause Everyone always picks just kangaroos. That's all that's down there. Yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. Hey, how are the kangaroos? <laughs> Ro <laughs> school on the every day. Yeah. <laughs> every day. Yeah. Koalas, man. Oh, yeah, the koalas, too. Come on. And that crazy guy that's on the Discovery Channel. Here we go. I'm going into the hole now. I'm going to pull him out by his balls. <laughs> What's that crazy guy's name? I'm going to stick my arm here in the crocodile's yeah. mouth. The yeah. crocodile hunter, yeah. tonsils out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't recommend you do this at home. It's like, yeah, well, I'm going to go down the street and go catch the croc and roll him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got Mark in the studio because uh, anything's better than throwing another shrimp on the barbie. That's all. Yeah. Oh, how many times do you have to hear that? And have you ever had a Vegemite sandwich? Love the stuff. You got to be winged on it though. What yeah. is Vegemite? It's, it's, it's like a yeast, black soy sauce paste extract. Ooh, stop! My mouth is water. <laughs> <laughs> Very salty, but you know you're, you're raised on it, so yeah. Mm -hmm. It's uh, an acquired taste. Kind of like uh, the next day after you eat White Castle. <laughs> yeah, that's acquired. <laughs> <laughs> now, you finished uh, Half-Life. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I did indeed. We were talking about this. Yeah, before. we brought Mark yeah. in because, uh, like myself, he's going through withdrawals. Because this weekend I finished uh, Tomb Raider 3. Yes. Well, I started Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. So it was uh, three months. Mm -hmm. Three months. Yes. Which is about your time, right? That's what I say. Yeah, it took me three months to uh, finish uh, Half-Life, yes. And uh, mm. I had no life mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. that period of time. So the half-life is uh, you spend half your life, life playing right. and the other half uh, trying to catch up on sleep. But life has returned. and <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel empty. It, it took me three months or just under to finish Tomb Raider 3. Right. Yeah. And uh, this weekend I got a lot of stuff done. I'm like, <laughs> wow, free time. <laughs> yeah, time on your hands now. Huh? It, it is yeah. so bizarre. For the first time I worked on our radio show in three months. <laughs> yeah, I realized that when I was watching Ali McBeal last night. Yeah. Yeah. Like, damn, why am I doing this? It, it, it is so bizarre. It's like an addiction. It starts out, uh, these video games or whatever, um, it just starts out as a, a stress relief. You know, a little, a little bit of fun, recreation, uh, recreation, yeah. a little entertainment instead of watching the, you know, the boob tube and stuff. By the end of the game, it's an addiction. You have to it finish. Took, it took the first couple of weeks, and it becomes an obsession. Yeah. 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 You cross that line where you start dreaming about it. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> yeah, it's, it's bad. Oh, it's bad. How are you going to get through that next little chorus? Right. Mm. I turned uh, I turned you on to this, so. Uh, yeah. Um, I felt like I was the drug dealer. <laughs> you were. Bring it on. Come on, man. Give me a hit. I need, I need, yeah. I need a clue, man. Come on. That's a, yeah, yeah. Give me. I got to get through this Come part, on. man. The monster's around the corner. And I have no ammo. Does the grenade go under the cab or under the tank or over the tank? Yeah, which, how do I blow it up? <laughs> now, come on. That's up to you. I fronted you enough information. <laughs> but I felt that way when I first went into Electronics Boutique to pick up a game. Mm -hmm. I walk in, and I'm looking through the games, and uh, the guy comes over and goes, Hey, man, you look you looking for a game? Yeah, yeah. Check this out. Hands me the Half Life box. He's got <laughs> This is some good mm. I'm like, yeah? Yeah. Goes out it's the the best in the place. 
Like, all right, thanks. I almost like put it under my jacket and snuck out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I paid for it. Yeah. Then I got home and my relationship paid for it. <laughs> because yeah, I just I was on there for twelve hours straight. Well, a lot of times, and when you finish, you do you feel like, oh great, now what? <laughs> You know, it's a big letdown. It's like a drug because you you lose all your relationships. <laughs> yes, relationship definitely <laughs> suffers. Your your work suffers. Mm -hmm. No sleep. No, no sleep. No sleep. Just like good. crack cocaine. <laughs> you are a crackhead. <laughs> yeah. With with these games, I understand. I'm with you. But now I got all this free t free time. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna have get to, another one. I'm right? gonna have to get another fix. It's a stepping stone. You need a bigger and better one. That's the problem with Half Life because I I can't find one that's really uh, as good. I met I mean, my wife last night. Okay. <laughs> You're back with yeah. her, right? Okay. Yeah. She's looking good after uh, this uh, much all. time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking siphon filter for PlayStation. That looks good for PlayStation because I got the PlayStation. We need Team Fortress 2 to come out. Half Life Team Fortress 2. We need it now, man. Coming out now, man. I'm hurting real bad. Yo, Sierra, I'm hurting real bad. I need this. You don't understand, man. Look, I got a camera and a telescope. I'll sell it to you. I just need it. You know, I must say, too, when I completed Tomb Raider 3, it was a big letdown. I was expecting some huge bells and whistles. Fanfare. I, I was expecting you finish the game and all of a sudden on the screen just goes... And there's like a number or something you have to call because <laughs> you finish the game, right? Yeah. And, and then what? You can only get this number if you get the, to the end of the right. game. And you dial up the number and this hot blonde comes <laughs> over and gives you oral favors <laughs> for free for finishing the game. Oh, come on. Well, I was expecting more than a stupid helicopter comes down and takes her away and that's the end of the game. Oh, is that what happened? I thought it was going to open up the treasure, man. Well, we got like the, the smoking man from from yeah, the yeah. trials. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Throughout the whole game, you'll be playing. You're you're battling these huge beasts, and then you look up. You're you're dying. You're being shot. You're being blown up. You're trying to kill somebody. You glance up at a balcony, and there's a guy in a suit walking by, looking at you. Yeah. <laughs> and you take a few pot shots at him. Doesn't hurt him. Yeah. So finally, at the end, you get to meet this guy, and he tells you what the whole thing was, fills you in, right. and then tells you you want to keep working for him, or or you you got a decision to make. You make the wrong decision, you end up back with a bunch of monsters. Hmm. You make the right one, you go on to the sequel. I guess I don't know. Uh, see, I was expecting like Lara Croft to come over and give a give me a personal lap dance for for this game. <laughs> I would not lap dance from her. She'll shoot you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> But it was a letdown. I was expecting something serious. Well, you need your next fix. Yeah. It's a real empty feeling now. Oh, but the end of an addiction is never a happy moment. You need more. more Just means more, you need more. more. Yeah. You can't be satisfied. You're addicted. Hi, NEW. We need uh, a video game rehab. Hey, what's going I don't. On? I don't have a problem. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. I just need more games. What's up, buddy? What's going on? Hi, uh, man. Uh, I got a suggestion. Oh, dude, I got a great Half-Life story, actually. Okay. Uh -oh. I finally beat the game about uh, a month ago. All right. And after Hi, I beat my the game, it I ended up that uh, <laughs> my sound kicked out. So I couldn't hear what that dude with the glasses and the briefcase was saying. Uh-oh. So I, I just spent months playing this thing, and I couldn't figure out what the end was. <laughs> Oh, my God, it was the secret to life. Oh, you missed it. Oh, well, try again. So I finally beat it the other day, uh -huh. and it was kind of like a letdown. Again. Yeah, I know. It was kind of like he was like, would you like to, Gordon, would you like to <laughs> join us, or would you like to, yeah. you know, fight right. the monsters again? So and I joined him, and the, the screen went black. Yeah, well, then it's for the sequel, I yeah, guess. I, I don't know. know. All right. What, what are you guys are going through withdrawal, huh? Oh, yeah, I got a good, uh, real bad. I got a quick game okay. that uh, that's that could be possibly help you. It's uh, StarCraft. StarCraft. StarCraft, I know. Yeah, yeah I'm not Drunk, Drunk Jay, our friend, plays that. Yeah, I'm not into that not one. Not into the strategy games. Well, I don't know. I'm looking at Siphon Filter for PlayStation. I think. I like first person perspective. Quake too. Looks the new, good. Uh, like the, the new Jedi. Jedi is pretty good yeah. Too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like we need the methadone of video games right now. It's like Quake. Quake 2 is a methadone for me. Right, yeah. It's not quite filling me in, uh, 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 giving me the buzz that Half-Life did. Mm -hmm. But I need something. And then I have my Half-Life uh, team uh, uh, fortress coming out. Right. And then Half-Life multiplayer that I'm on every night. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I'm getting along. <laughs> I'm not feeling totally fulfilled, but, you know, it's working for now. One day at a time. Oh, man. It's so hard. It's hard. It really is. I don't know what to do with myself tonight. But yeah. Well, you'll figure out. Something. I almost threw the PlayStation through the window. <laughs> you get those moments. Well, yeah. it, like I said, it starts out as a fun game, and by the end, you want to kill somebody. Literally. You're I was so never pissed a off. I a game sort of guy before this. Yeah. Right.
It just kills you. Yeah. But it takes I was, all your time. I was doing Tomb Raider 3, and I was going further and further into the game one day, right? And I was getting really far, and I'm like, should I save the game here? Don't have enough save, Crystal. Should I uh, save? It was a big decision. I'm like, no, I'll go a little further. Went a little further. I'm like, should I save here? No, 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 I'll go a little further. Keep going, right? Now I'm finally ready to save the game. The lights flicker in my house. Oh, no. And it goes off. And I'm like... <laughs> This is this has got to be Canon camera. Where's the damn camera? I, I looked at the TV in shock as it pops back on where I was, you know, before I started the day's work. And now Merv is on. <laughs> I almost threw the PlayStation through the, the living room window. I'm like, you've got to be kidding. You've got to be kidding me. You'll get to start over at that point. Though. That's part of the uh, anger and anxiety of an addiction, Opie. Right. When it doesn't go your way. All right. Now, did you cheat a little? Yeah, of course they cheated. Because I think I, you always got to cheat yeah. a little. Because I was talking to people about Tomb Raider and three and stuff, and you know, I had my fun. I, I figured out a lot of the game on my own, uh, but it got to the point. Why did I have to play the game perfect so I could brag that I was, you know, I yeah. figured every single part yeah. of, of it uh, by myself? Of course I cheated a little. Yeah. When I have yeah. fun, sure. You know, I jumped online and got some uh, walkthroughs and stuff. Of course. There you go. All right. Well, you, you wow. got to hook up a uh, multiplayer. <laughs> We'll get into. We'll do some battle. My little method. Team of Fortress. Yeah, yeah. So I can. We'll get through, Max. We'll get through. What is? Hi, Andy W. Hi, I was still on hold. All right, what's up? Not anymore. Who is this? Opie and Anthony. Hello, how are you? Good. Good. How are you? Oh, I can't believe I'm actually getting to speak to you. Cool. I've been calling for days, and every time I call, people slam the phone. Oh down no, really? And they're rude to me, and they say they're busy, they have no time. Oh well, what you have to say must be very important. Well, no, it was just I, my feelings were hurt, and I I couldn't understand. Why were your feelings hurt? Because nobody would talk to me, and every time I hear you guys on the radio, you're so nice to everybody. Everybody, everybody's so nice. And okay, like, now we're listening. I've been calling all for like four days now to try to win tickets, and that's all I wanted to do. And I said, all right, I, I gave up on that. I just want to speak to them, tell them I love their show. I, I have a great time listening to them. I even sent you an email, and I couldn't get through. And the guy says, now they're busy. He slams the phone down on me, and he says, mm, wow, yeah. that's kind of cruddy that they do that. <sighs> So I was, you know, yeah, my feelings got hurt because I've been listening to NEW for like 25 years. And then when Scott, you know, I was getting kind of, yeah, yeah. you know, so I stopped. <laughs> Boy, anyone else see that coming? <laughs> it's waiting. My God. <laughs> Telegraph that one, huh? <laughs> All right, well. Uh, to that lady, if she's still listening, there's a problem in our phones. Okay. Um, thank you for that little AA meeting. Right. Yeah. I, I feel better. You feel better yeah. now? Good. All right. We'll all get, uh, well, get and, by. We have to play this. You want to play it now instead of taking a break? Yeah, go ahead. Hopefully there's people we're, still we're listening. We're talk station now, right? Uh, pretty much, <laughs> according to the paper. <laughs> Just rumors. People are quitting uh, left and right around here today. What's going on? They're abandoning uh, ship. Our buddy Ken Dashaw just quit, I heard. Did he? Oops. Ixnay. Sorry. And no one, knows. Him on another no one knows what we're saying. No, no, one, no one's so. listening. Okay, listen. Uh, so Chelsea and Hillary are in Africa. Yes. Uh, they're away from the old man for uh, two weeks. As far away from Bill as possible. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's so obvious things are going on because, like, he's in a, cr a crisis right now mm -hmm. with uh, Kosovo. Yeah. And she should be there. Yeah, of course. You know, supporting him in a decision that might cost men their lives. Mm -hmm. And she's out parading uh, to Africa. You know, it's obvious that there's uh, nothing there. Spending, nothing. Spending a couple weeks in Africa. We got exclusive audio, Anthony, of uh, Hillary and Chelsea's trip to Africa. All right. Would you like to hear the first uh, clip here? I would love to. Okay, let's take a listen. Mom, are these people cannibals? Now, now, Chelsea. Why would you say that? Because the chief said he'd give anything to eat me. Mm, he sounds a lot like your father. Your mother Hillary is very respected here. She has the one quality that is most coveted in our village. What's that? Wisdom, compassion. No, a fat white ass. Oh, well. Your African name, Chelsea, is Kiala Abalafu. That's beautiful. What does it mean? Lanky pale girl with face of a wombat. Oh. Hey, Mom, Van Diego wants me to go into the forest with him. I think he's going to let me have one of his pets. Why do you think that, Chelsea? Because he said he's going to give me his 12-inch Ubangi black snake. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful out here, Mandingo. By the way, what does your name mean? 
It means man with three legs. But you only have two legs. Oh, really? Kelsey, when we are through tonight, the whole village will call you Iwachalakanaya. Neat! What does it mean? That means she who cannot sit for weeks. Ooh. Now grab your ankles, Chelsea, and I will demonstrate what your father does to your countrymen. Wow! You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> Who knew that was going on? Uh, yes, they show those nice clips on the news of them <laughs> smiling. Uh, but uh, well, I got part two of the bit. Would you like to hear it? <laughs> yeah, we might as well be kicked out of the whole state. Okay. <laughs> All right. So continuing with the uh, saga, Hillary and Chelsea in Africa. Here, okay. Here we go. Let's uh, listen to another part episode. two. Part two. Yeah. Oh man, bingo! It's so big. I need Ah, oh, that's it, Chelsea. Now wrap your lips around it. What? Like that? Yes, that's it. Now blow, Chelsea. Blow. <laughs> Nothing's coming out. Oh, be patient, Chelsea, and blow harder. <laughs> Bullseye. <laughs> no, thanks for showing me how to use your blow. Any time, Chelsea. We best go back to the village and find your mother. I wonder where she is. Maybe she's in this hut. Oh. Mom, what are you doing with Ben Dingo's sister? Oh, dear. You said you were going on a safari. No, no, I said before the day ends, I want to be deep in the bush. Well, you do what you want. I'm going to help Ben Dingo take care of a bed. What are you talking about, Chelsea? He wants me to spank his monkey. <laughs> well, just be back in time for dinner. Okay. Well, what are we having? I don't know about you, but I'll be having the African beaver. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, come on. That isn't real audio from... Uh... Their trip to Africa, is it? I don't know. My, <laughs> wow. Our source is pretty reliable, Anthony. <laughs> that is just out of control. <laughs> oh. Wow, the uh, Hillary and, and uh, Chelsea audio, big hit. I, uh, people seem to have liked that one. Big, huge hit. AnthonyPriceline.com. Ah, we love Priceline. You want to save some money? Huh? Hmm. You going to be at a hotel anytime soon? You going to be out of town, maybe, or in town? Mm-hmm. You need a hotel room? You want to pay full price for that hotel room? Mm -hmm. No. No way. So what do you do? You call Priceline at 1-800-PRICELINE, or you get on the web at Priceline.com. You name your price that you want to pay. You feel is a reasonable price for the hotel room. And Priceline gets you the price. You get the hotel room. Everyone's happy. You've saved money. Yeah, these guys have been on our show for a while now, and I, I, I just don't understand if you're, if you're going away in the near future, need a hotel room or an airline ticket... Why you wouldn't call to see what they could do for you. It's free. And uh, the cool thing is if you do use their website, Priceline.com, uh, you put down the price you want to pay for a hotel room. Within an hour, they're writing you back saying uh, if your price was accepted or not. Yeah. And sometimes they'll bargain with you. They'll say, well, look, I can't give you a hotel room for a dollar. Well, get, but I'll give it to you for seventy-five. It's usually one hundred and fifty. Whatever they, they, you know, they'll do, they'll, they'll uh, make some deals with you and do the best they can. Significant savings, mm -hmm. yes. Not just like, hey, we'll save you a buck. Right. Like, hey, get out of here. Yeah. Why bother at that point? Yeah. One zero two seven W N W, the Rock of New York. Officially a threefer from the doors, Anthony. Ho ho. <laughs> Officially, you caught us. <laughs> Blue Sunday, Beast, Peace Frog, and Backdoor Man. <clears throat> Dude, what? Dow down two hundred and eighteen. Uh huh. Closed down. Now this amazes me about Wall Street. If I may quickly, see it says mounting concerns that corporate earnings growth may have slowed substantially caused fear and selling on Wall Street. So all right, that now it goes down. But then in two weeks, it's like, the bright economic future caused a rally on Wall Street. Yeah. And then like two weeks later, you get, oh, it's, it's looking grim again, folks. We're all fickle. Does it happen every two weeks? Like, can't you get a big picture on the economy, look at it and go, it's good, it will be good for a few months to come. But there's a lot of people out there that day trade and they, they ride the highs and the lows and that's how they make their money. Eh? Yeah, but the market takes the big dumps and big gains on, on rumor at least or news of the economy right. being good or bad or heading toward good or bad. 
So how could it change every other day? These people are like, oh, mounting concerns. Oh, low earnings. Oh, boy, it's looking grim. Inflation. Oh, boy, interest rate. And then two days later... It's the same things, but they're good. Everything's rosy. And that's why everything went up. Now, how did Infinity Broadcasting do? Because there's a lot of rumors about NEW. Did that affect the, uh, oh. stock, price, the, the stock price today, Anthony? Last I checked, it was down. Mm. It was down. Uh, okay. Yes. Yes. May, may, oh, but, oh. You think that's because of us? <laughs> I think it, pl it plummeted after the uh, Hillary Chelsea Africa bit. Man, that's a great bet. <laughs> I want to hear that again already. <laughs> Don't worry, knowing our show, we'll play another four times this week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like MTV over here. <laughs> All right, listen, um, we got to get a Dave Matthews ticket winner. Yes. Uh, Dave Matthews playing a special show for us tomorrow with Ralph Tatora at a uh, secret location. Mm -hmm. God, I know the place, too. Oh, that would really piss off a lot of people, though. No. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 oh. What the hell? Wait, why is the boss in here? Hi, hi boss. Oh, my God. Bye. Yeah. Bye, people. Bye. He doesn't have a baseball bat, so I <laughs> yeah. think we're okay. He was I on earlier. Are. Mr. Herman, how are you? Hey, guys. We like to call Good. him the big boss man. Good. Good. Did you hear him? Oh, he walks in. I get scared and stuff. Like, he's going to... Why do you get scared? You know. <laughs> <laughs> the Opie and Anthony program will no longer be heard in this time slot. <laughs> <laughs> I am armed with cassettes and phone messages. What could I... Uh... Oh, really? Cassettes of what? Our show? That people mail you and as a matter of fact, yes. Point out Wait, little things that talk, we've done and you gotta talk into the mic. Yeah, there we go. Hi. <laughs> What's the latest complaint? We just got through a, a nasty complaint and we're safe, right? I hope so. We won't say which one. Yes. We we made it through that one mm -hmm. unscathed. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> What's the latest one? <laughs> the latest one is we have to make sure that we're doing the stacker commercials. Yeah. Right. Okay. That we mentioned their slogan. Yeah. Which is the world's strongest fat burner. Right. And that we just treat the client very nicely. Oh, yeah. We we love Stacker. We have been. Opie's been uh, taking Stacker, too. And Look it, at him. And it has helped me. He's a lean, mean fighting machine. I, that's the first that comes to mind when I mm -hmm. think of They don't like the drug references that we've made in the Correct. past. Okay. Correct. Oh, they were done in jest. No, no, no. I know that. I know that. But, um, you know. It's called kidding. I know, but you know what? They, these, these people are buying time. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. The, the comedy portion is when people are not paying for it. Okay? I see. We have the comedy no, portion. You pay for the comedy portion. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> okay. So what's the tape? Yeah. Is the tape That us? looks like a tape of our show. Saying something bad? No. As a matter of fact, it's fine. Oh, okay. But, you know. Did you hear our, our last there, bit? There are times that I can't be at the radio, you know, and like I have things taped, and I listen to it when I go home, so I could just... Uh... Um, was the tape rolling on the Chelsea Hillary um, in Africa bit we just played? No. Oh, go. Uh, we didn't play it. We don't yeah. even have one. You may be getting some calls on that tomorrow. <laughs> that <bad? laughs> Well, no, it's that good. It's, it's that double entendre humor that you told us to, yeah. to work on. It's a cute little bit. This uh, guy, Mandingo, teaches her how to use a blowgun. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe we want to move to triple entendre. <laughs> triple entendre? Quadruple entendre. That way no one understands. All right. All right. So you didn't hear that bit. That's good. All right. Good. You'll have a, a happy drive home then. <laughs> for, for once. Any other uh, news there? Um, no. Re reporters calling about the uh, story in the Daily News? Yeah, they are. And you know what? It's... I mean, yeah. rumors are rumors. I mean, we talked about this earlier. Who starts rumors? Um, other stations. Exactly. Other stations, boss. Other stations, right? I mean, all radio stations are always looking for, you know, things they should be doing to get more mm -hmm. listeners, to get more listening. True. You know? Oh, okay. I mean, but, you know, but Jesus. I mean, I, I, I get nervous when I, when I, when I think, you know, the only thing you really know about the newspaper yeah. is, like, your business. Right. And then when you know how poorly things are written about your business, doesn't it get you to worry about it? I know. It? Like when you're reading about the war in Yugoslavia, when they could possibly be right about that? I know. It's halfway around the world, and uh, we don't know from a hole in the wall what the actual facts are. Yeah, when they write stuff about you, you're like, wait a minute. That's not, not true. true. But no one's going to believe me. Yeah. So... <laughs> But we're allowed to talk more, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, talk more. And play in that great rock. See? We played six songs today. The whole we day? <laughs> yeah. So far. Was it See, not? that's where rumors come from. That's how that crap gets <laughs> in the paper. <laughs> Well, who wants to hear a sticks to for Jesus? We got a Chelsea and oh, Hillary bit to get see, to. See, there you yeah. go again. Now, nah, now, see, now, now, you're... The, now the music department's going to get all upset. I'll get him. I'll get him, boss. 
Opie, that's not productive. <laughs> it does you or the station no good to uh, downplay the music. Right. What you do is good, but the music also helps to... Could you shut me up? Could you throw something <laughs> at my head? Very good, Anthony. <laughs> well, we that would fall into the idle bitching. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's the fake remorse. Can we play, play a couple, <laughs> on there like, too. Can we play a couple songs that we dig tomorrow? I mean, like really dig? There's a, I want to play, like, Godsmack. Godsmack's good. I want to play... Uh, Rob Zombie, his yeah. new one, Living yeah. Dead Girl. God, that song rocks. Hey. Would, that, would that make you happy? Yeah. Tomorrow, can we play a couple of our faves, just as a goof? Sure. It's better is, than Gary, is Gary still gone? Gary tomorrow? will be back tomorrow. Oh, oh. Damn. I want to play whatever by God's is back. The, my new favorite like, song. Is like the language okay? Or like, am I approving something? that? We'll I'm get the radio play? edit. No, the, the God smack whatever is one of the hottest songs in uh, the country right now. Okay. You'll yeah. get the radio edit, though. Yeah, it's your uh, show. We could find that. And then Anthony wants to play a couple. and Living Dead Girl, yeah. That's Living Dead one. Girl would be cool. I mean, I like the doors and stuff. Okay, but... now we, now we've just gone from, can I play one, <laughs> to I want to play a few, and Anthony wants to play a couple. Come on. Next thing you know, we have anarchy and another article in the paper. <laughs>